participatory photography in theory employs the fundamentals of photographic representation to provide a platform for agency, empowerment, creative expression, and vocational training to marginalized populations. This project was centered in an educational program run by Kenyan NGO, Shining Hope for Communities in Kibera, one of Nairobi's and Africa's largest sprawling slum settlements. Sponsored in large part by Nikon Kenya, we had the great pleasure of working with highly motivated, talented, and fun-loving students at the Kibera School for Girls, part of Shofko's Girls Education and Leadership Program, which includes a journalism club. A community engagement component involved collaborations with the wildlife clubs of Kenya, the Association of Media Women in Kenya, or commonly known as AMWIC, and the United States International University Africa's Media and Communication Department, which not only provided two journalism majors to mentor our kids, but also hosted a panel discussion and presentation event. The panel discussion featured academics, advocates for women's media and development, and representatives from Shofko and Nikon. With mentorship by our talented team of Kenyan photographers, journalists, and university students, the eight-week course met three to four times weekly, introducing students to the basics of digital photography and photojournalism skills, including portraiture and creating photo stories. Assignments were given to these kids to present opportunities for them to practice the skills they were introduced to. Students were provided Nikon DSLR cameras. <laughs> Among the most interesting and effective activities were our home visits. Accompanied by Shofko social workers, teachers, and our own instructors, we visited the homes of several girls, often meeting their families and neighbors, allowing the girls to show what was like in their homes and in the Kibera community resulted in some of the most intimate and revealing photographs in our eight-week program. The field trips were amazing. They were part of the highlights of the project. They were arranged to a variety of sites outside of Kibera, including Nairobi National Park for a morning of wildlife photography. Another Saturday found us visiting the Kuona Trust Artists Collective, the One of Gallery, and the Photography Studio at Media Hub Kenya. Visits were also made at the historic Karura Forest and the Nikon Showroom. I reduced the shutter speed to <coughs> 25 or 40. So. Guest presenters included Tony Wilde, an internationally honored wildlife photographer, and Esther Sweeney, a conceptual portrait artist whose work addresses issues related to feminist empowerment. Students learned to edit photographs using Nikon own editing software, and to our surprise, the kids are extremely brilliant, and by the third week, most of them could edit their own photos. At the end of the course, each student had a gallery of their best pictures, and plans and production are currently underway for the exhibition and publication of their work. The girls have been empowered with a lifetime skill that will aid in eradicating poverty cycle in Kibera, and hopefully they will become iconic photographers who will inspire their next generations.
The time is now for us to say goodbye. Every good things you've done, always there to remember. The happiness we've shared, it's time for it to go. All the trips we've been to, so educative and fun. The hard-working teachers we had, very smart and intelligent. I know, I now know about photography just because of you. Always loved you will be by the students you have taught. All the things we have learned are never to be forgotten. Wow. The photojournalism club will never perish in this school. All the memories we will we will keep to remember the good things you did. Hooray, we've done it. Ready to move another step. The time is here for us to go and make you proud. A lot of stories we will tell using photos and the skills. Gratitude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.